One of the most valuable tools in our toolbox, especially here at Tri Lakes and with anybody that considers themselves serious as a technician, is an electrical multimeter. An electrical multimeter, similar to this guy right here, we use it to measure resistance, voltage, and amperage. Those terms may sound familiar to you, but some of the concepts that dictate what type of wire we use and the overall effectiveness and reliability of our air ride installs really hinges around our use of this tool. <clears throat> this is a Fluke 179. Uh, pretty much any quality multimeter will do the job. This measures voltage, both AC and DC. It measures resistance. It also measures current. Now, as we do our installs, the two important aspects that we really, really want to be concerned with measuring are going to be voltage drop and resistance. Now, just a little bit of terminology that we always hear, but a lot of people really don't understand the nuances of it, are voltage, resistance, and amperage. What do those things mean? Well, it's really important to us to at least understand the concepts so we can do our installs properly, which assures a reliable installation equipment setup, happy customers, and a safe end product. When electricity flows through a wire, there's electrons that exist in the wire all the time. C voltage is the force that pushes those electrons and causes them to move. So we think of that as water pressure. So the higher the voltage, the more pressure that we have moving through the wire. Resistance is the inherent quality of all conductive materials, all materials in general, that stops or that resists that flow of electricity or electrons. So resistance is bad. Uh, think of resistance as heat. So when the voltage is trying to push the electrons through the wires or conductors, the resistance is opposing that movement, and that is friction, it's heat. It's just like if you rub your two hands together, it will get warm. So where there is resistance, there's always heat. The last quantity is amperage. Now, amperage is the amount of electrons that moves through a wire at any given time. Conductors are limited in the amount of amperage that they can handle or safely carry. So some of the common wire sizes that we use are 14 gauge, which is good for about 20 amps over a span of 10, 15 feet. If you're running your compressors, you're gonna run into a one or a two aught, which is a fairly large cable, very battery-like. That cable, I know one aught is good for 50 amps at a distance of over 30 feet. Two aught cable is good to supply 100 amps at about 40 feet. So what happens with conductors is the longer that they are, the more resistance that is induced in the wire as the electrons push through. So the longer distance you have to carry a given amperage load or current, the bigger the wire needs to be to support that amperage and to counteract the resistance of the wire itself. 